My name is Saul Hansen. I'm Head of Operations uh, here at VG TV. The newspaper VG, which is Norway's largest newspaper, sprung out of the resistance after World War II. They were the biggest newspaper in Norway, and they wanted to transition from the classic print to the online media. VG TV was starting to grow, and uh, they needed to get a set up a uh, Exan in 2005, and they've invested in Final Cut Studio, so I was brought in as a consultant to set that up. Uh, what I'm really proud of in VG TV from the production point of view is that we have been thinking uh, simple, easier, faster, uh, fewer people, um, more cost efficient. Our focus has always been on making it as easy as possible for the users here. Many of the users here are journalists and they've come from doing iMovie stuff on their iPad or, or whatever. So when we switched from Final Cut Pro 7 back then to Final Cut Pro 10, uh, we spent one day, we had groups of four and five people, and we spent one day training and everybody was sober. Next day, they were editing. We sort of couldn't believe how easy that transition was because uh, there's like no other editor you can do that with. Over the years, the focus on Exxon changed a little bit uh, at Apple, so it became clear that we needed something else to expand. A couple of years ago, we realized that LumaForge had something going on. And then I went to visit uh, LumaForge at uh, NAB, and I was quite happy about what I saw and what I've read in uh, reviews. And he said, I've read all these stories, you know, I've seen videos, do you think you could manage this? And said, what do you want? We said, we want some LumaForge servers for playout, we want some for editing. I said, okay, <laughs> let's start with the playout. So one after the other, they bought systems. They tested it thoroughly. We bought a unit and started testing it out and we were happy about it. When you're working with the fiber-based systems, it's much more complex. Getting on LumaForge, just you know, connect your Ethernet cable and, and it's up and running and uh, things like that is not possible to do with your laptop and uh, fiber-based solution. We have eight uh, LumaForge units around the facility for, uh, spread across our departments. The, the whole broadcast operation is actually run on LumaForge servers, from ingest to editing to playout. We realized that we could make a workflow where we had our different departments had one storage unit each, and we could tie that together with our MAM system. You have a faster workflow on each unit, and you still don't have the risk of a single point of failure in the server. And that's what people like that need. They need solutions that work from the first moment and that don't break down. When we started looking at MAM systems, we couldn't actually find anything that was tailored to our needs without spending a lot of time on transcoding and all sorts of behind-the-scenes things. None of them were built for speed. They were built for checking in files and reviewing and, and so on. So we actually built our own MAM system. It's all connected to the different department's jellyfishes. So whenever they have uh, edited our story, they just put it in a watch folder and proxies are made. There's transcoding to other formats. There's loudness control. Once you publish something, it's the right file. The user don't have to think about it. It's the right file that goes to wherever. We have done a setup in FunCat where you actually can publish different formats in one go. So we have a bundle of everything that we export. So, for example, when we need to make a master file for VGTV, that's one setting in the bundle. There's another one for the sports department. We also do a clean version of everything without the graphics. We just export it in Final Cut and we get those three files, put it in the watch folder and the mom takes care of the rest. Uh, we have to make sure that we have a really, really high standard on what we do but we have to do it as efficient as possible. Of course, the art of editing is something else, but there's the technical limits are taken away and it's easy. And that is exactly 
what LumaForge can solve workflows and better speed, better performance, making it easier for people to work with Final Cut Pro 10 and with other applications.